Hello Year 3, this is Mrs Norris here on Monday the 18th of May and I hope you've had a really good weekend and are ready for some learning this week. So I have put two lessons for Monday um, purely because we've already read through this text that we're going to, to look at today as a writer but I still need you to make sure that you have a little go at some reading comprehension work this week. So there'll be a reading and a writing lesson for today. Um, both shorter lessons for you to have a go at. OK, so what have we got for today for our writing lesson? I can identify the key features of a fact file. So this is what we're going to go through today. Read the fact file, explore the text as a writer, Generate keys to success for the fact file, find it task, and then magpieing um, some key words and some technical vocabulary. So that's today's lesson. Okay, so as I mentioned last week, we're going to continue the work about the truth about trolls. But this week's focus is um, writing a fact file about trolls. So things that you used last week will help inform um, and prepare for your planning part of this week's lesson. Who is it for? Professor Folklore. So we're going to send them to him and share what we believe with other believers across the world about trolls, if you believe. So the learning journey. Exploring as a reader, we are not doing about this specific text because you did that last week. You will have a separate comprehension task for that. We are exploring as a writer today and exploring as a writer the key text um, purely because we're going to write in the same way at the end of the week. These are our other journey throughout the week. We've got looking at adverbs, um, as an add-on and engaging openers, we'll plan and write and then we'll edit and publish in a different way. OK, then. So we have our fact file here about tr the truth about trolls. And today's task, you can see up in the corner here, is for you to read it. Remember, rereading helps with your fluency and your confidence coming across words for a second or third time. OK, so pause here while you read that through. If you um, are struggling with a few of the words, I've put the SoundCloud link, which is an audio link on the video links document so that you can listen to it afterwards. OK, pause then whilst you read through. OK, then we're exploring the text as a writer. So we'll put both of the screens on. Here, here we are. OK, so what are the key features? What are the key features? So I want you to think about the structure and I want you to think about the language that is used and I want you to highlight the text to show what you have found or write a list of features. So I have put on Google Drive the Trolls document. I've shrunk it so that you'll be able to mark around the edge and draw some lines using a ruler to identify those key features. So I've put that on Google Drive so you can print it out if you are able to, to complete this activity. OK, so pause whilst you have a little look and have a think. What are the structural features and what are the language features of the text? OK, have a go at that. Remember, it doesn't matter if you aren't able to recall or spot something because we will go through and spot other features. OK, so here are our keys to success. OK, these are our keys to success. The structure, we've got heading, which I'm sure you spotted, some questions, which are also used as subheadings. 
There is an introductory paragraph at the beginning. Information is organised into paragraphs. We've got images or photos and pictures and there's some examples of question marks and exclamation marks used within sentences. Language features. We've got factual language. We've got technical vocabulary. Adjective to describe. So creating a picture in your mind's eye. Expanded noun phrases linked with that. Adverbs to start sentences and engage the reader. And we've got a variety of different conjunctions that have been used um, to create different types of sentences, coordinating and subordinating. Um, but I don't want you to worry too much about this element in this week's lesson. If you can add it in, great, but that's not the main feature, so don't worry too much about that. Okay, so what does it look like then? I, on your piece of paper, I have use the keys to success here and labelled different parts for you. So here at the top, the heading, and then underneath we have an introductory paragraph. You can see on this page there are three different um, paragraphs broken down into sections with subheadings which are all here on this page uh, question subheadings. We've got two images here We've got some technical vocabulary, some, we've got the word shelter um, and an adverb at the beginning here, interestingly, to engage the reader to, to want to find out more. Now, I haven't highlighted or um, used an arrow to find everything because it's very difficult for me to show you all the fine details on the page here. Um, it's not like having a big board back at school. But I hope you've spotted lots more within your your piece, um, your your work this morning or this afternoon. And here, let's have a look at the other page. We have got subheadings again identified as question ones, adjectives here used to describe and noun phrases. We've got an adverb to engage the reader at the beginning. Amazingly, trolls like to have fun. Exclamation sentences. We've got two here. Surprisingly, goats are not on the menu. Um, for impact, we've got three paragraphs. Um, two paragraphs, sorry. Technical vocabulary, one of the bold words here. Photos. Um, and I've highlighted what I could see here as the conjunction words. So there's some examples there for you. So you might want to pause and just have a little look at that to see if you've spotted the same things. OK. So. You'll find it task then now. You've got six find it um, activities today, which mean that you need to write an, or copy or um, find an example of or choose the best that you think using this piece of text. So it's a little bit like you what you did with your character description, um, but with our trolls text. So if I put on the other screen for you, here. The text is there. You will have it if you've printed it out and you can use and see it closely. Um, pause here whilst you have a go. I am not going to go through all of these examples um, with you because you'll pick different ones and hopefully the keys to success has helped you to identify what are good examples already. OK, so pause while you have a go at completing your finding task. OK, so the next activity is magpieing. So here's the cheeky magpie. Um, I don't like to use the word steal. I like to use the word magpie and hope that they'll borrow it and bring it back. So we are going to magpie technical vocabulary and keywords from the text that you think 
will help you with your fact file about trolls later on in the week. So this is going to be our travelling working wall. Which words are you going to choose? I've picked four examples for you already from within the text. So I thought bulbous was a really good word. Raw, so explaining the types of food. Shelter and earthquake all make reference to um, last we definitely used the word earthquake last week, which was useful. So pause whilst you magpie your keywords that will help you later on in the week. Good choice words. OK, how have you then got on with today's learning? OK, could you identify the key features of a fact file? If not at the start, or you could only identify a couple, have you since been able to from the examples that I have shared with you? Should have made the find it task a little bit easier so you could apply what you've understood. Tomorrow's lesson we're going to look at adverbs and we're going to look at using add on. Um, so we're adding on details into sentences and making sure we're clear on adjectives as well. And just something you may want to do i've just put a little photograph here of the working wall that i've been using with my daughter so you can gather all your things that you found useful this week and help it help build up a picture over the week like we talked about in last week's lessons as a working wall of resources for you don't have to just an idea okay i look forward to working with you in tomorrow's lesson. Thank you, Year 3. Bye-bye.